Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at five new things that are added to Laravel version 9.26.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this support for non-bagged enum as well whenever we are casting. Let me show you one of the models over here. So I have this user model and on the type I have user type enum and I have converted this enum into this non-bagged enum okay so before if I show you it was like this and now I have converted this into like this and whenever I try to access this type on a user if I again run it then you will see that error call to undefined method user type enum from this was in the older version of Laravel now if we upgrade our Laravel and see then this must work so now let me just go over here and let me say here composer update since I am using valet so I have to prepend valet in front of composer but you don't have to just run composer update okay it's upgraded and now if we again go over here and reload then you can see here user type enum and the name is enum for this to work so if I just show you that over here since all these are capital case so here this type should also be capital case but now let me just change it to let's say here a small letter admin over here like this come here and reload then you'll get an error for this to work so here also i need to write a small letter admin like this and again if i come here then you can see that it is passing so whatever you have over here in the database it must have the same casing on the enum as well now before moving to the next tip let me introduce you to this video sponsor which is honey badger it is obvious that we run into some errors everyone's code will have some errors even if the code is written by amazing developers like my viewers in such case honey badger can be your best friend honey badger allows you to monitor those errors uptime check-ins and deployments in real time with easy to use interface with that you'll be able to know what happened immediately when your customers encounter those errors whenever they are using your application or website then you'll be notified via email sms slack and many more immediately you can easily install honeybazer in minutes and when something goes wrong in your application you can go to your dashboard and see full detail of the errors which will help you to solve the issue much more faster and thanks to honeybazer for sponsoring this video honeybazer has both free and paid version and you can check the link in the description and be a devops hero in minutes by using honeybazer now the second thing that has been added is this min digits and max digits validation so why is this needed let me show you that also let me just copy this code over from here and go over here and paste that over here suppose let's say in the request we have this number equals to 1000 and we wanted to check if the number of digits here is between 3 and 5 or it is exactly 4 then we couldn't do that before if we did this mean 3 and max 5 then it would check greater than 3 and less than 5 but it is actually 100 so it would not work so there is this mean digits and max digits so let me remove this comment and it will actually check whether there are three digits like 100, 101 like that the number of digits like 1, 2, 3, 4 okay so it is between this 3 and 5 now it should pass so now let me just run it then you can see here it is passing and hence returning the validated data okay now let us move to the third thing that has been added and it is speed optimization for the sync without detaching and these are the things that i can just show you over here so you can see here with improvement now it is taking this much nanoseconds and before it was taking this much nanoseconds which means that the gain is in the factor of 50 and we cannot neglect this whenever we are working with the last data set and here just the detach variable is created inside the condition before it was outside the condition and it was using array diff which is a very expensive operation now if i just show you over here inside this files change and here you can see that before it was created outside this if condition and now this thing is inside this if condition that's why it is faster the fourth thing that has been added is this closure support in order to dispatch the job 
before there was this dispatch if method added and if it was true over here then only to dispatch this job otherwise it wouldn't but now here we can also pass a closure before we could only pass a boolean but now we can also pass a closure which can either return true or false and then it will dispatch the job accordingly the fifth and the final thing that has been added is this configurable path to the bit these new functions are added and and this bit class also now supports html level so if i just show you over here in the laravel documentation let me just zoom it now you can render the script files like this before you could do it like this if i just show you over here you could do it like this but now if i just go over here then you can use custom things over here like bundle folder name and the entry points if you do it like this then you should do the same thing on the bit.config.js file as well